We are committed to preparing adaptive professionals who are competent, accountable, reflective, and engaged in a diverse and changing world. Our highly experienced faculty has dedicated development of each student through a vibrant curriculum that integrates superior academic training and supervised clinical experiences. Completion of the program ensures that candidates emerge as well-rounded professionals who understand the complexities of educating all students in Middle Georgia as part of a rapidly changing global environment. I enrolled in Middle Georgia because I wanted a school that was not only convenient, but that would provide an education in which I was a marketable professional. The School of Education at Middle Georgia employs professors that sincerely care about their students. The school has provided hands-on experiences and the knowledge necessary to ensure that all teacher candidates are of the utmost quality and career ready. The education program, it was, um, it had a good reputation and I heard it was competitive and I really wanted to give it a try. Ability to take classes online because I teach full time and I also coach two sports throughout the year. Classmates who were also going to Middle Georgia and they and they showed me the website of Middle Georgia and I realized that as I looked on the website there were many opportunities that were given here. I chose education because for one I had a really good teacher. I had several good teachers growing up and so I thought maybe I could do the same and I think when one person inspires you to do something, why not pass the torch? So that's why I'm here. It's completely for the kids. When you're young, you need that figure in your life to reinforce necessary life skills. Not every child's lucky enough to have that figure in their home and I want them to know that they're capable of anything they put their minds to, but most importantly, they're loved. I want to see our young people to succeed because they need role models that actually have a passion that actually cares for them. So therefore, I believe that education is a great fit for me. There have been obstacles that I had to overcome in order to obtain my degree. I worked full time throughout college, throughout the education program. Uh, I definitely consider that as an obstacle. I worked 40 hours a week and still maintained my 3.8 GPA. Be a full time student and a full time teacher and a coach. <laughs> Just being able to step out on faith and come into this new county um, where I'm, where it's unfamiliar to me and just plant my seeds here. So that was the biggest obstacle was just branching out and starting here in Bibb County, somewhere new. I was prepared to teach state standards because we had these lesson plans that we had to fill out. And yes, they were extensive and we had to script, but here at the school I'm working at, we have to do the exact same thing. We have to include the essential question, the I can statement, and everything you're gonna say before you say it. Um, MGA also taught us different uh, research-based strategies to use in the classroom for the students that will prepare them for the 21st century. So the way that Middle Georgia helped me set up that, that my field experience was nice just because it's a little different than what others were experiencing since I didn't have a co-teacher with me. But it also, I feel like, allowed me to grow even further just because I didn't necessarily need someone right next to me telling me how to do every little thing. To be able to teach lessons and to see our CTs, which is known as our corporate, corporate teachers, uh, showing, showing us how to teach those lessons by showing us the proper way to implement the standards in your classroom. I think the biggest moments, because there are several, would be just hearing the students' conversations when they're among themselves, when they're chattering, and when they're talking about what they did in class, when they're excited about their learning and they're making those connections. Oh, wow, we learned this in class. She was right. Oh, we learned about this yesterday. Or even when I hear my students that are not as motivated um, or the kids that are a little bit more shy and quiet, when they come up to me or when they give me a little note and they say, thank you, Ms. Randall, for teaching me, or I enjoyed this lesson today. So just hearing that feedback from the students are the biggest and those are the most powerful moments that I experience every day. I'm making a positive impact on my students by just creating a family environment. I feel like I bring a positive attitude each day into the classroom, um, which can help a lot of students not dislike math as much as they do. 
Um, with the students, I try to build relationships. That's my biggest thing, is making sure I reach every individual student, um, ranging from students that are motivated from extrinsically and then intrinsically uh, motivated. I try to basically make those connections and be relatable to my students. So that's how I try to bring positivity in the classroom. The most important thing that um, I've really learned through Middle Georgia to help support diverse students is really focusing on um, the varied learning styles. Uh, when we do different books, read aloud, so when they're reading independently, I try to show them, for, I try to let them read books from different perspectives, first of all, and they also, they get introduced to different characters of all different backgrounds, all different cultures, um, so that they can get those experiences that they may not be able to go to physically. So that's how we embrace diversity in this classroom, through our reading, through our writing, and just through our learning.